Hey guys, what's up? Chubby Boy here and welcome back to my vlog. So for this vlog, I'm going to do my first review of a mouse. But not just any mouse. I'm going to review this mouse. This mouse is the glorious Model O gaming wireless mouse. This mouse is wireless. And what makes it more compelling is its price point. This is priced at 4,000 pesos, which is around $80. So for this video, we're gonna talk about its build quality, specs, performance, and problem areas. Let's go to its build quality. So the build quality is okay. I'm not a fan of the honeycomb design, as you can see here. The shape is similar to the original Model O. It's considerably lighter than the 304 and is the second lightest mouse in the market, only beaten by the Logitech G Pro Wireless Super Light. The wireless dongle comes with an adapter for the USB charging cable. I love the charging cable and the cord that they include because it's braided and it's light and you barely feel it when you use it. It has six programmable buttons. The primary buttons are Omron switches. So the left and the right button are both Omron switches. Uh, they are rated for 20 million click. The click is crispy. The travel and the spring back is uh, just the right amount. Compared to the G304, I find that <clears throat> the travel for this mouse uh, takes a little bit more effort. So when you click, it takes a bit more of a push from your fingers. The RGB is programmable by its software. Uh, you can customize the profiles, you can customize your DPI settings. Although I personally did not fiddle around with the software that much because I found the plug and play features and the drivers already sufficient for my use case. So moving forward to tech and specs. The mouse features a BAMF sensor. The BAMF sensor is an upgraded version compared to the other sensors of the Glorious family. It's a welcome upgrade because it features a faster sensor created in collaboration with PixArt. It has 1000 Hz pulling rate and it can go up to 19,000 dpi at 400 IPS acceleration. It includes a 2.4 GHz wireless dongle and it also comes with a loosely braided cable which I really really cannot get enough of. According to Glorious, it boasts a 71 hour battery life on full charge and without RGB activated but honestly uh, this varies which I will discuss more later. Moving forward to performance. I have mixed feelings with the performance of this mouse comparing it with my daily driver which is the G304. The G304's hero sensor feels more accurate and is faster. Although I wouldn't call it a total step down from the G304, the G304 is only faster by a margin. Considering that, it doesn't really bother me as a casual gamer and a casual user for the mouse. It performed very well on such games as League of Legends with fast response times and almost no latency. Although I did encounter issues uh, with regards to the wireless and wired mode, uh, it really is much better when it's wired and I did experience uh, latency and lag issues when it was uh, when I was playing with uh, with it on wireless mode. I like that it's wireless, but honestly, I like it better when it's plugged in. The cable that they package it with is really light and loose, so you don't really feel it when you're gaming, even if it's uh, on wired mode. And I tried playing Valorant with it, both wired and wirelessly. It felt slow playing a game that's fast paced when it was on wireless mode. My recommendation for fast-paced players and competitive players or even pros that are looking to uh, get a daily driver to practice on, if you're going to buy this mouse, you're gonna enjoy it but it's really better when it's wired. Let's go ahead to the problems. So the problem is that I don't like the honeycomb design. Why don't I like the honeycomb design? Because it's a total dirt trap. I'm not saying that this mouse, for, for the time that I was using it, became dirty or became grimy or that dirt actually got into the hexagonal uh, holes. The frame didn't get dirty while I was using it. Because for a fact, I 
tend to rub alcohol on my hands before I touch my computer peripherals. For those who actually know me in real life, people know this. I like to keep my hands clean. And I know for a fact that not everybody has the time or the diligence to actually check if their hands are clean before they touch their uh, hardware for the PC. So I would really guess that regular people, this would be a dirt trap, which is not bad. You know, you just you can just clean it, but obviously. Uh, I don't think the hexagonal pattern really helps with sweaty palms. I mean, I guess uh, it keeps your palm cool, but I don't have a problem with sweaty palms, so I didn't really take note of that. The button travel feels farther than other mice, but because I'm biased to Logitech because uh, I've used only Logitech mice in the stint that I had my gaming PC. And uh, this does not really feel that far off. It's barely noticeable, but upon their comparison, you will notice it. Uh, with this particular unit, I experienced that my left mouse button occasionally squeaked when I was using it for the two week duration that I had this mouse for review. Uh, the battery life is the biggest problem for this unit or for this particular mouse or for this particular line of mouses according to also accord, also according to reviews that i found online your mileage for the battery may vary some people claimed that before 24 hours the battery already uh, died or was or it was already lagging me personally i experienced around a 12 hour battery life uh, at around 12 hours of continued continued use, the, the battery was already dying on me and it was already lagging. So I had to put it on wired mode, which is actually better for me overall. So overall, do I like this mouse? Yes. Would I recommend it? Yes. Personally, I would. I definitely would recommend this mouse. It comes at a great price point between the G304 and uh, the G Pro Wireless or the Razer Viper Ultimate. Personally, I don't care if it's lighter. The weight of the mouse isn't very important with me because uh, I'm not very particular with it. Uh, other people might be more comfortable with it. Those who have issues with their wrist might find it more comfortable to use. The ergonomics of the mouse are very nice. It's It fits uh, perfect in my hand. Uh, I did not have any issues using it particularly. For me, I would recommend it because of the price for value. The sensor is good, only to be beaten by the Hero sensor of uh, Logitech by a small margin. Not a significant margin, but still there. The pads are smooth and it glides on my custom mouse pad. As a casual gamer, this mouse uh, I can use. Personally, if I had the money for it, I would buy it. So for those people that are thinking about getting a wireless mouse, you sh uh, I would suggest this. If you have the money though to get a G Pro Super Lite, get that. But if you're looking for a wireless mouse that's light and has a lot of features, go for this. Get subscribed to see more future content. Tell me if my vocals for this video sounds better. I started using a lapel mic. I hope uh, the vocals sound better. Comment about my lighting. Tell me what you want to see me review next. Please hit the like button if you like this. If you didn't like this, hit the dislike button. And thanks.